everyone and welcome back to my channel. Today I'm going to be doing a haul. Um, I just had to make sure that I put my nail back on. My nail popped off this morning, which is so weird because I've only had my nails on for like a week and usually they last two weeks. Um, but these are the nails that I'm sporting today. They are the black polka dot chromey whatever this one fell off and I didn't have an extra mirror nail so I had to replace it with black so anyway these are the nails that I'm working with today um I just got sidetracked anyway I'm doing a haul today I have Kohl's Amazon eBay Big Lots Macy's did I get anything at Macy's I can't remember um but anyway, one of the things that I wanted to show you guys is what I bought at Kohl's for shoes. So my mom and I went into Macy's and we were looking for just like, well, my mom was looking for an everyday uh, tennis shoe, non-athletic because she doesn't do anything. Um, no shade to my mom, but she doesn't um, exercise wise. So, and I was looking for an exercise tennis shoe because I really needed another pair. Um, I've been working out a lot at the gym and I wanted to make sure that I got new tennis shoes before the spring season hit because I spend a ton of time outside with my dog, just like walking and hiking and things like that. And I wanted to make sure that I was prepared. And I feel like if you don't get the, um, color tennis shoe that you want, like now, um, late winter, they're just, the sizes are going to be gone. Everything's going to be gone. So I found two pair of Nike shoes and I decided to get both because I couldn't decide on a color. So I did pick these up. Um, and I believe these are a running shoe, but I'm not really sure. I know like you're supposed to, you know, get the shoe that kind of correlates with what you're doing, um, exercise wise. And I don't run, but I do walk kind of fast. So it's kind of like a fast walky, slower run. So anyway, so I got these super cute. I love the color. They're like periwinkle, I would say the color is with the little silver slash of the Nike, um, you know, whatever. And these are the Cushlon Street, I think. Um, it says Nike... Nike Zoom. I don't know. They were super comfortable. They're really kind of light and breathable also, uh, but it still has the support on the bottom. So I got those. And then these were the other ones. I do wear a lot of like pink. Um, I have some shirts that are salmon-y color, but I really liked these as well. I thought that they were super cute, super springy, you know, whatever. Um, and yeah, I just like them. So I bought them. These were on sale for, I think, $70 each um, at Kohl's. And we we saved our receipt because um, it might go, they might go on sale this Wednesday. So always save your receipt with Kohl's because they can definitely do price adjustments. So then also at Kohl's, I of course was checking out all of the spring clothes that they had because you guys know if you don't grab them now, they're going to go like that. And you don't want that. You don't want spring to come or summer to come and be like, where are the clothes? Where are the colors that I love and enjoy? So I picked up this lightweight sweatshirt. It is super thin, um, super light. It's a hoodie. And I just picked this up because I love the color. People say that I look really good in blue. Um, I got this in uh, extra large and it also has the um, like kangaroo pocket here. And then does it have the little hand thingamabobs? Yeah, it does. So it has the little slit a little slit right there for your thumb. Um, so you can just like, you know, put your thumb in and your hand is covered, which I really love because when I'm outside, uh, like by the lake walking the dog, it can get a little bit breezy. So I really do appreciate just like the little details and things. And then I also got this one. It's the same one. I'm like one of those girls where if I find something and the cut and style works for me, I will buy one in every color that I love. So yeah, that's kind of what I did. Um, so I got this lavender one. I just think it's really cute. Again, just, you know, high neck, whatever. Very, very thin. And again, um, the sleeves have the little, you know, thumb, thumb slit. Is that what it's called? Like a thumb slit? Just sounds so... Crazy. Anyway, and then I got these shirts. Um, these, I believe, are 
junior shirts. I got them in the juniors department. So instead of getting an extra large, I got a 2X, but it doesn't say like 2X. It just has two X's. Does that make sense? I don't know. But these are more of like a tighter fit too. So that's kind of why I wanted to get, um, you know, something a little like a, a, a size bigger than what I would normally get. And also because it is like a juniors. So I got this like pinky salmon color shirt. It's a V neck. It's thin on the thin side. So I'm going to have to like be careful as to what I'm wearing underneath. But again, beautiful spring color. And then I also got a pink one. Uh, by the way, these were on sale for $10 a piece. Kind of pricey, I guess, for a t-shirt but you know what like I said they had the colors that I wanted so grabbed them right away and then I also got a green one um and this one is kind of like a different material I don't know it feels even thinner than the other two um but yeah so I got this kind of green maybe it's not green I don't know what it's not really emerald green it's just kind of like a different green but anyway I like it and um, yeah, I'm probably going to be wearing these outside when I go exercising with the dog. And then I know why I mentioned Macy's is because a while back I found these Capri pants. They're by Ideology, I believe is how you pronounce it. And um, I bought them from Macy's, like I said, I think it was last year. And I only bought one pair because they were like 40 bucks a pop. And I was like kicking myself that I didn't go back and get more. Um, but I actually went on Amazon and I searched up the pants and I found them there. So I'm super happy about that. So basically what they are is they're just these um, like elastic type pant and they're spandex and then they have the band, the color band on the bottom as well. So I got these um, in this purplish color and then I also got another pair in the purplish color and then I also got another one um, in the purple, which I love. And these are the ones that I have already and I wear a lot of purple. Um, so I'm definitely now set for my capris. They did have a pair of pink ones on Amazon, but it was super hard to like figure out if it was really pink or if like the color was off online and it was actually this color, but it looked more so like a bubblegum pink color. Um, but yeah, so I just didn't get those. Plus those were like $20 a piece. These were only like $11 a piece. So honestly, if you like something, like you bought something and it's like sold out, go on Amazon and look because you'll probably find them. And then I wanted to get ready for swimsuit season. So um, I have been wearing the Catalina halter top swimming suits, which I absolutely love by the way. And um, I have solids. So I have a salmon color black turquoise and I wanted to get something different this year. So I picked up these from eBay. These are brand new suits and they still have the tag and everything in them. Um, and I got them for super cheap, like $10 a piece, which you guys know swimming suits run like 80 bucks a pop. Um, so I got this one. It's like I don't know, grandma kind of ask, but I'm living for the moment. Um, and it does have like a little skirt that comes down, like just the tiniest little skirt, but just, you know, something um, to not be too revealing. And then this is the top and then this is the halter. So it like goes behind your neck and ties. And um, yeah, I needed new suits for like outdoor use and then also for indoor use as well um, for when I exercise and stuff at the gym and then I picked up this one this print is really cute as well love it super adorable again the same same um oh what I want to say style where it you know ties around the neck like a halter and then I got this one too um this one is more like white based but I did like the print on it, super colorful and like spring summery. Um, so yeah, got the suit, so I'm all set with that. Crazy that I'm like talking about swimming suits and spring and stuff um, and it is snowing outside. Like if you could see my view right now, you would probably throw up on yourself because <laughs> we have like three feet of snow outside. We just got more snow last night and 
nothing's melting and we're just stuck here trying to figure stuff out. So now let me talk about um, my Big Lots haul. Went to Big Lots with my mom the other night and um, I did pick some stuff up that I needed, some stuff up that I didn't need. So I've been using this Dr. Teal's foaming uh, bath. It has the Epsom salt, I think is how you pronounce it. Epsom, Epsom, some, whatever. Um, and this one I really like. This one is a lavender one. Now at Walgreens, I don't know how much it is, but I know it's more than $5. So I did pick up these because these were only five bucks. They smell really good. They relax your muscles. Um, after like a really hard workout and I've only had the lavender one so far so I picked up the pink Himalayan one um, this one didn't smell too bad but it's probably not something that I would repurchase again but I've yet to use it um, and then I also did the detoxify and energy energize energy energize with ginger and clay this one smells super good it smells kind of like seascape seaside sea salt sea air whatever this one's a really good one so i can't wait to use that and then they also had like the lotion like the matching lotions um the matching like actual salt but i can't use actual salt in my bath because it burns my skin i don't know i have really sensitive skin so i can't do that um i also picked up some cleansing towelettes by appel i get these all the time they are only like two dollars I think for 30 of them or like 99 cents for 30 of them I don't know they're super cheap so I got the cucumber ones and then I also I think got the aloe yeah these are the aloe ones so I use these when I'm in a pinch when I'm not using my Clarisonic when I'm super tired but I still need to wash my face before I go to bed I will use these and then um I'll use these also in the morning just to get off my nighttime you know lotions and creams and serums and stuff like that um before I put my makeup on so I have been using those oh and then this was a find so I was kind of looking for like an oil of Olay moisturizer and they didn't have any there but I found these ponds little pods I got this in a Walmart beauty box like ages ago and I absolutely loved it and I never went back to the store and bought it um, but this one is rejuvenates anti-wrinkle cream um, and I picked up three of them right away because they were only like a buck each so I'm gonna use these um, I'm probably gonna make the switch probably within the next week or two when the temperature starts to warm up, my skin changes, like my pH uh, balance on my skin gets kind of kooky. Sometimes I get a little oily, um, you know, in the spring and then I'll get like dry in the fall. So yeah, I think I'm gonna make the switch when that happens. I forgot, I also picked up these. These are the rose petal ones. Um, this is 60 of them for $2. So yeah, those other ones must have been just a dollar. The rose ones are amazing, you guys. They smell so good, and they're so um, packed with moisture. This is the Hydrating Deep Pore Cleanser, Soothing and Calming. So, yeah, I picked those up, so I should be set now for um, cleansing cloths. And then, now let's get into the snacks. So, I found these, and I was just like, okay, never had these before. They're only $2. This is the Pretzel Crisps in the Honey Mustard and Onion. Oh my gosh, dip it in salsa, dip it in nacho cheese. No, just kidding, not nacho cheese. Probably salsa would be a little bit healthier. Um, but yeah, for $2 for a big bag, I thought that wasn't too bad. And then I also got the garlic parmesan, and I believe this one was also um, $2. But this one is actually a smaller bag than this one. I think this is like the party size, and this is just a regular one. Um, so yeah, that was a really good deal price wise and then I also picked up my dry roasted edamame because I love these on salads they're crunchy they're healthy they're good for you and these were two dollars and fifty cents for the bag again all of these I bought at Big Lots um, so go get you some these are kind of the naughty items this is by True North Almond Pecan Crunch they had like five different kinds of these and I just thought you know what when I'm craving something salty and something naughty, I can maybe munch on these um, after like doing an OMAD uh, meal. These were $2.50, a little bit on the pricier side for only five ounces. And then 
They didn't have my Tootsie Roll, so I got a Charleston Chew. Don't judge me. And then I also picked up this iced coffee. Um, this is by the Victor Allen's, and Victor Allen's coffee is made actually in Wisconsin, so that's why my Big Lots carries it. But um, yeah, I thought I would try this out too as just like a little coffee breaker. Um, I know that there's a lot of calories in here, uh, 160 calories for the whole bottle. I guess that's not too bad for like an iced coffee that's flavored. And I have one more bag to go. Um, oh, these crackers were on clearance for $1.25. They are the bio cracker with extra virgin olive oil. I don't know, I just thought that that would be good maybe to like melt some cheese on um, for breaking a fast, but there's like a lot of crackers in here for a dollar fifty. so I picked those up, and then I also picked up my Bantos. This is the Bantos mac and cheese, so, so good. These taste just like cheese puffs, and they're made out of beans, so they're like semi-healthy, I guess. And then I also got the Bantos. This is the nacho cheese, really good, dipped in salsa. And then these were new. I haven't seen these before. These are the Bantos um, with the ranch. Interesting. I don't like eating real ranch, but I do like eating things that are flavored with ranch. So picked these up. Thought that they were something new, different, um, amazing. It says the flavor notes are buttermilk. Ooh, you know it's dangerous when you start out with buttermilk. Herbs and roasted garlic. Um, but yeah, they're made out of beans, so like why not? But anyway, thank you guys so much for watching my haul. I know this was a little bit long, but I hadn't really shown you guys what I had bought in a really long time, so I thought I would just show you everything at once and catch you guys up. But thank you so much for watching, and I will see you next time. Bye, everyone.